About 400 contestants, mainly from primary and secondary schools, came armed with their paper plane to the National Science Center. They designed their airplanes to compete in one Malaysia paper airplane contest with the aim to make their planes stay in the air longer than everyone else's. The older participants say they joined the contest to relieve their childhood memories of playing with paper planes, while others wanted to support their school-going children. For the organizers, their aim was to create a fun experience while educating students on physics and aerodynamics creatively. How I found out about this plane? Basically, I just Google it on the internet, okay. and then I liked the design with the tail, so I chose it and I gave it a try. The design of the wing that it keeps it up, the wing tip being on top actually helps it to stabilize. Then, because if the wing tip was at the bottom, it wouldn't work. You know, after a few tries, and then most of the weight is below. So that's why when the weight is forward, it will fly more because you're actually throwing it forwards. Compared with when the weight is at the back, if you throw it, it will start to slant and fall. So what? Another thing is the tail, because I only have to use one paper. I have to tear it from the same paper at the end, and I it's actually a connected part. I just clip it in. Over 20,000 ringgit worth of prizes, including smartphones and a tablet, were given out to winners. 14-year-old Muhaimin Abdul Alif from SMK Subang Bestari was the big winner. His plane hovered in the air for 9.85 seconds, just a second shy of the winning time in 2011's worldwide paper airplane contest. Other winners include 10-year-old Nur Rais Daniel, who clocked in a flight time of 5.69 seconds in the primary school category, and Muhammad Shamsun Nizam in the open category with a time of 5.91 seconds.